right welcome back to the channel new video this video is going to be fuel pump upgrade take two because the uh, first video on the fuel pump upgrade was um, wrong basically I made some pretty big mistakes in that video so I just want to rectify that and um, tell you what I did so you guys are aware so basically what I did was um, I fitted this hose and um, Basically, that isn't submersible fuel hose. That's just standard fuel hose to be fitted outside of a tank. Um, so the correct hose to be using is like the original stuff. Yeah, so this is the correct type of hose to be using. This is PTFE hose. And you should be using clamps. So that was the other mistake I made. Because this was quite thick, I couldn't actually get a clamp once the rubber hose was on that fitting there, I couldn't actually get a Jubilee clip on it as well. So because of that, I decided to not fit clamps on any of the fittings. Um, bit silly, I know, but I thought that hose was so tight that it would be okay. But um, it turns out the pressure of the new pump, that's the company there, look. Cytec, is it? You pronounce it? full fit instructions it's about 100 quid that one um, because of the fuel pressure that produces that's the old pump there um, I think the pressure actually got underneath the fitting between the hose and the fitting and blew the hoses off basically so the car did actually start and run for a little bit but when I came to start the car up again about a week later it wouldn't start and all, all sorts of codes and engine management I was on and you know all the rest of it so yeah so that was basically the two biggest mistakes I made um, there are a couple of other little things which I, I want happy about with the video so that's why I just completely deleted it altogether so um, I go on about the wiring issues so basically the wiring is in reverse to what you would expect so the brown core there the, sorry the black core there is actually the positive that's actually your feed that's actually your 12 volt feed to the pump and it actually says positive it's got a positive symbol on the pump just there if you look closely you won't be able to see it on camera but I'll put a picture up and the red is actually the negative so yeah I don't know if you can really see that but um like I say, I'll put a I'll put a picture up of a, a close up of that. Um, so yeah, the reason for upgrading the hoses is because um, these the original ones that's come off of there. Look, they split, they split about quarter of a tank level, and um, once they've got split in them, they start sucking in air. As soon as the you know fuel tank level drops, for the petrol drops below quarter of a tank, it starts sucking in air, and uh, that's it. You lose performance. So. Um, I was making a bit of a big deal out of testing, making sure that the pump was wired up right so it would run in the right direction, which, you know, is important because um, you don't want to have to put all this back together, put the, the pump in the assembly, the assembly in the tank, tank back to the car just to realise um, it's not running properly, it's not, you know, pumping. Um, so I actually did end up taking it all apart again because the, the hoses blew off, so for another reason, but... I actually did what I was trying to avoid but um, yeah so I'll show you what I did testing wise testing purposes of the electrical side of things the cables um, the other thing I talked about in my original video was testing the actual pump is pumping in the right direction um, so obviously part of that is down to you know the wiring so making sure but um, the other thing I was trying to get at in my original video was making sure that you know this was going to be pumping from that end to that end so basically sucking in from there and pumping out from there but if you look at it it's pretty self-explanatory this is i didn't you know i didn't explain this in my first video but this is a filter here this is the old pump like i said but that's actually a filter and that just pushes on to the bottom of the pump so obviously that is going to be protecting the motor from any debris in the tank and stuff. So, you know, the new pump is exactly the same. It's the filter goes on the bottom. So from that, I would say that, um, 
you know that is that is correct you know that's it's going to the new pump is going to work in exactly the same way as the old pump and if you've got the the new pump wired in in exactly the same way as the old pump then you know you've there's pretty much guaranteed it's going to work properly for you um so i didn't want to actually prove any of that with fuel with fuel spurting everywhere to be honest i didn't fancy that one little bit and i wouldn't recommend it to anyone else so yeah basically that's what i did um i'll show you what i did with the wiring with the multimeter in a bit but um there's also a little bit of an issue with the new plug that comes with a new pump it doesn't quite fit um that is not quite the same i should say as the old plug on the original so this is going to be attached yeah so this is the original plug that goes into the top of the pump and what I've done with that to make it fit the new pump is I've just taken I've just filed off a raised edge so there was a raised edge on that plastic pub plug on that side on that left hand side as you're looking at it now So I just took, I don't know if you can see there on that left hand side look, I just took that raised F up, edge off with a file and um, that allows the old plug to fit into the new pump in the right orientation, i.e. pause to pause, neg to neg. So, you know, the pump will, will run in the right direction, basically. Um, so yeah, I think that's about pretty much all I want to say once you're done once you're finished um, probably stating the obvious but you have to prime the pump the assembly and the fuel system because obviously it's all going to be pretty much empty the filter as well um, if it's a new filter but yeah you have to prime you have to get the fuel around the system basically and uh, you do that by flicking the ignition on and off uh, several times I did it about three or four times I think without starting and then you can go for a start but um it won't necessarily start all the first time you know even after you've primed it um it just takes a little while for the fuel to get through the system that's all so you just have to bear that in mind as well um so yeah um i think that's about it i think the rest of it i've uh, captured in the other footage that i've got but um yeah so the ptfe fuel in tank submersible fuel pipe is the first critical critical part the second critical critical part is to, to use the clamps the appropriate clamps on the ends where they where they attach onto these fittings so obviously the pipe has to go on nice and snug nice and tight and once you've got it on, you need to put the appropriate clamp on there. Pro appropriate hose clamp, stainless steel, I used. Make sure they're nice and tight, they don't come off. Because, like I say, there is a fair bit of pressure in these pumps. I don't know if it's more than the old pump, but um, it was enough to blow off the hoses. When I fitted the rubber hoses there... In these two areas they just when i opened this up took it back out of the tank the, the hoses were just sat there in the tank they've been completely blown off so uh yeah and i had to um obviously take all the subframe down and everything else to get the tank back out again so i just thought i'd let you know so hopefully you don't have to go through the same rigmarole but um yeah there's um a guy who does these fuel pump upgrades called ben page um, I've spoken to Ben, I've contacted Ben and um, he's cool with this, he's cool with me doing this video so thanks a lot Ben, top man. Um, but Ben uh, actually guarantees this work and to be honest with you I don't think he charges that much more than what that costs. So I'll uh, bring you in to where I've actually got the tank out of the car and I'm taking the fuel pump assembly out of the tank. If you want to see the tank being removed from the car, go back to one of my previous videos, the rear end teardown. But um, yeah, I think that's it. So we'll uh, see you in a bit.
going about this all the wrong way. But at least I've got that loose. Right, so Aunt Hugh reckons if you push that collar in and then push the pipe in and hold it, it should come out. Fair play Aunt, cheers mate. Top banana. fuel pump how much a Ford want for these 500 odd quid 585 quid I think can't see any split pipes yet The new pump so this is the new up rated pump this is the 340 liter per hour pump the one that's good for 500 brake which obviously i'm not going to get anywhere near be lucky to get half that um so the new plug on that is actually the other way around so well when i say the other way around is a slightly different shape plug anyway and it can only fit one way, as they all can. But that red core is on the side that's identified as positive. So because the plugs are different, I'm going to need to use this one. 
but obviously I need to connect this cable to the black on the existing. So now I'm going to fit the new filter and the uh, fitting on the back of this one. So that rubber thing just allows the pump to sit in the bottom of the housing properly. So there's a new filter on. So now that just sit in the bottom of the tank. Like that. Then this should basically just sit on top. So again, I've cleaned up all inside this. So that's all the pipes engaging where they should be. That ring also needs to be in the correct position. And then you should be able to just push it down and that's it. That's all clicked into place. Then your fuel, fuel sender, that should also just click back into place. Right, so as you can see, I've got the black lead from the multimeter connected up to the red wire. And the red wire connected up to the black. I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but I can assure you that's the black terminal on the right hand side closest. So basically that's what I'm saying is reverse polarity. So we should get a positive 12 volt figure on that multimeter now. Right, so if I swap these round, I'm gonna connect red to red and black to black as you would expect normally in the normal world. But again, this is the S2220 world. So you should have seen there was a, a negative figure there. So that is to indicate that we got polarity around the wrong way. So connecting up the right way, red to red, black to black, we've actually got a negative figure. Okay, so the pipes are all now fitted with the clamps. And um, the whole assembly is now ready to go back into the tank. So, so hopefully, these pipes are in and they're going to stay. I hope so anyway. I don't fancy doing all this again. But I've checked now several times that all the fittings are nice and tight. The pipes are in the right places. They're the right, right way round. So yeah. Fuel, em fuel assembly in tank. Take two. Yeah, so as you can see, got the tank ready. It's been cleaned out again. It's been cleaned out umpteen times now, this tank. 
must be one of the cleanest ST220 tanks going. Not out of choice, mine, but um, just because I'm a bit of a twat. Anyway, let's get this fuel pump back in. Next thing I've got to do is suss out these fuel pipes. So let's say that one went like that. I think and that one went like that. Can't see how I was like good really. So let's try it. I've got to take these out again because they're a pain in the ass. Right, so hopefully we're getting somewhere near it now. So we've got to connect up the pipe for the uh, carbon canister. That one connects to it as well. So I'll have a quick look at that in a minute. Right, carbon canisters in, as you can see. And uh, a few of the pipes, just getting ready. Electrical connection, where are you? There is ready to go. I've got the straps underneath the car ready and the bolts. So, fuel filler neck is going to be a bit of a challenge, getting that all lined up at the same time as getting the tank connected up. But, um, I'll try and show you as much as I can, but I think this is going to be tricky, so excuse the, excuse the poor cameraman work. So I'm just getting the tank roughly in position. But, um, not too sure whether to put the filler neck on now or once I've got the straps on loosely, I think I might put it on now, to be honest. I think that was the easiest way to take it out. So um, I think it's probably gonna be the easiest way to put it back in again.
so tanks up bit of a faff getting those tank straps bolted up so that was the first thing I did really once um, it was up, up, up roughly in position on the jack I got the tank strap bolts back in and then I just started fitting everything else like the filler neck for example I got the uh, carbon canister in first connected that up last likewise the fuel filter as well so yeah that right in the back there was some um, Getting these tank straps in was a bit of a faff. It's all quite a tight fit to be honest, but um, yeah, it's all in there now, roughly. I've only got the tank bolted up loosely at the moment. But I'm gonna stick some fuel in the tank and uh, see if I can fire it up.